Hey guys, it's Lisa, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to do some thrift flips, and uh, I have several empty places in my store, and these are some of the items that I need to kind of get finished. Uh, this desk here is an old school desk, and it was red when I got it, and I put a coat of black on it, and that's as far as I got and then this basket, I need to do a little something with this. And this is a little um, pressed piece of furniture, uh, but it makes a good size for a side table. And a table that size will be really easy to work into some vignettes. Now this is an old milk can and it's just painted white, but it needs cleaned up. And, uh, and then this little crock and this little lamp. Uh, so all of this is going to get a makeover in this video and Again, it's just some things that I've had for a while and I need to get them out on the floor So the first thing that I want to do is make over this old-school desk and I'm gonna leave the black iron black uh, But I'm gonna give all the wood two coats of the color sandbar. And sandbar is the Dixie Bell color. So I'm gonna be doing this in a farmhouse style. All of these pieces will be. And um, I'm gonna be adding a transfer to this one from the Dixie Bell set called uh, On the Farm. And so there's a large transfer in that set that um, has a barn on it and uh, actually the barn is so large that it's in two pieces. So that's what I'm gonna be adding to this one. So again, I gave this uh, one coat, let it dry well, and then added a second coat. And then before I added my transfer, uh, I finished this off with a clear top coat. And I just used a Dixie Belle satin finish. And I also decided to do some heavy distressing on this, so I'm using my orbital sander. And then I just hit all the high spots. So again, the transfer that I'm using here is called On the Farm, and that's a Dixie Bell set. And um, this large barn is just one of the transfers that's in that set. And these are really easy to use. This large barn is just in two pieces and they're very easy to piece together now what happened with this one is when i went to pull this second piece off um, i messed up that bottom some and but it's just down there where all the brown is and i wasn't able to get it pieced back together because i had actually ruined that piece so i ended up um, distracting from that by adding some brown glaze around the bottom and i also did a little bit heavier distressing around the bottom as well now this is another piece from that set and i just thought i would put it to one side on the top here to kind of fill in that space now what i decided after i finished this um, transfer and I had done so much distressing on it and then adding that brown glaze, I felt like I needed to make it go better with the seat. So what I end up doing is taking that sander back out and heavily distressing the seat and uh, the top back of the desk. And uh, that brought out a lot of the red, which was the original color underneath. And it was uh, more of a um, rustic red, so it wasn't too bright to bring through. But I thought that would just be a good opportunity to go ahead and bring that red through and kind of marry it with the red in the barn. And that gave this a very, very rustic look. Now the next piece that I'm going to make over is this little pressed wood stand or table. And it's that yellow wood and very unattractive, but this was given to me and all I had to do was uh, give it two coats of black spray paint and I just used a matte finish black and then 
I took up my finger sander and just sanded on those high spots and just gave this a small amount of distress and then finished it off with some Van Dyke brown glaze. So that one was a very, very simple makeover. Now this is another set uh, from IOD that I'm going to be working with and I will include these in the description but uh, I want to use this one on uh, this part of the transfer on the milk can. So I thought that would be perfect uh, to go on the front of that milk can. So because this was already painted, I just went ahead and I was happy with the color that was on it. Uh, so I just went ahead and added this to uh, the front of the milk can. And then I just took some black paint and uh, this is the color caviar by Dixie Belle and I painted the handles and the lid and then when I finished painting this I just took a black marker and did some extra distressing around the high spots and then I finished this off with a clear top coat and this was the finished piece and I really like how this one turned out Again, I did finish this off with a top coat. So I had this little lamp also in my stash that looks like a little milk can. And uh, it was already white. So again, I think I can make this work. And um, I just added one of the transfers to this one from that same set from IOD. But I wasn't sure about the finish of this, so I did finish this with a top coat first to seal it in before I added my transfer, and then I let that dry well. And so I'm just going to put this little transfer on here, and then I'll use a black marker and do some extra distressing on this one as well. Because it's after Christmas, and I've cleared out all my Christmas decor. I've got so many empty spots, so I needed to get some items out quick, and these little simple flips were, uh, were exactly what I needed to fill in some of these little spots. I just love this little cow here, and it having milk on it, I just happened to have two transfers in this set that worked really well for these little milk cans. And I'll add another top coat just over this transfer because I've already sealed the rest of it. And, but I wanted to add a little bit over the top of that transfer to make sure that it didn't try to come off. And here I am just using that marker to just add some little black here and there. But I think this makes a really cute little lamp. And I have a lampshade that will fit it. But the lampshade that I had uh, was kind of an off-white, uh, and I was happy with the color of it, but there was some light, very light staining on it. And I didn't want to paint it because uh, if you've ever painted a lampshade, you, you know that you lose a lot of the light that filters through the shade. Uh, so painting is not generally a good option, but I got the idea on this one that uh, maybe I could really, really water my paint down and make it more like a stain. So that's what I did. I just took some of that caviar paint, which is uh, just a dull black color, and I watered it down probably two parts water to one part paint, maybe even thinner than that. And um, I just put it on that shade, kind of like a um, kind of like a stain, and it was real surprising how well it worked. And what I got was this charcoal color, and uh, so I'll be using this technique on other lampshades because painting them is a very simple fix. But again, you lose. Uh, the light filtering through when you do that. So with this stain, I, I don't expect to lose much of the light filtering through. And I think you could do this with any color, but as you can see, it hid all my stains and it works out perfectly with this little lamp. 
And the next item that I'm gonna make over is another pretty simple one. Uh, so I'm gonna make over this little black crock. It was already black. So all that I did was taped off around the top and painted the body of this in the color um, sandbar. And now I'm gonna add this little rice paper. And uh, I think I got this rice paper from Decoupage Central and I'll add that in the description. But I just like this little French country rooster look here. And I had to cut this one down slightly to make it fit in height. And, um, and I cut that all off the top. And now I'm just adding my Mod Podge just a little at a time so that I don't have any wrinkles. Now all of these that I'm doing aren't necessarily going to go in the same vignette. They'll go in the same area. But uh, I'm just kind of making some odd pieces that will fit into that corner room that I have where I have all my farmhouse decor. But once this is on and dry, then I finish this whole piece off with a clear top coat. And I thought about adding a little bit of antiquing around the bottom, maybe with some brown glaze or brown wax or even antiquing uh, ink and then clear coat with a spray over this. But in the end, I just decided I wanted to keep this a little lighter. I didn't want to get it too dark. I'm going to be doing a lot of thrift flip videos for a while because I have so many areas in the store that are very bare right now after Christmas. And I know that some of you who have booths or stores uh, have that same issue. Either you're, you've put your Christmas things on sale. I don't do that. I store mine. Um, but um, I do take all of my Christmas decor out. And I did it this past week. And now I've got a lot of fill-in to do. But this is what the little crock looked like finished. And now uh, I've got one more project to do. And the last project is this basket. So I watered down some uh, paint and this is the color sandbar and I watered it down probably half water and half paint and now I'm just kind of doing a white wash over this and so I brush it on and then wipe, wipe it back. I'm going to be adding some rice paper to the front of this and uh, a lot of times when I'm going to put a transfer or something on a basket, I'll glue a piece of cloth on and uh, do the transfer on that. But I didn't want to do that this time and I wanted to put it directly on the basket and I know that you putting a transfer is near impossible on a basket. So what I decided to do was decoupage some rice paper. And you can see there at the top, that's why I didn't want to leave this um, the color that it was because that blonde piece going around the top there, I knew there was just no way that it would take stain if I were to try to stain it uh, to match the basket. I actually did try part of that, uh, but also putting a... Um, the rice paper on here. I wanted something light to kind of match the uh, background of the rice paper that I'm adding to this. So that's why I decided to whitewash it. And if you tried to paint this, its basket is kind of hard to paint, I think. But if you water your paint down, it goes on better. And when you water it down to this degree, it's very, very easy. To, to get in all of that basket. Again, I went over the whole basket, including the handle, and then once that dried, then I was ready to add my rice paper. Now this rooster image is what I'm gonna add on, and again, I will add this in the description. Uh, obviously, it was a little larger than this, but I wanted some organic edges, and I actually even wanted an organic shape, so I just tore out uh, the rooster. Now because this is going on a very uneven finish, uh, going on to a basket is a little bit harder, so I made sure to add quite a bit of Mod Podge. So I covered that thoroughly 
and then I'm going to put it on the basket. Now, I'm not just going to brush it just straight on, uh, but I'm really going to work it down into all that basket weave. So I just kind of brush from side to side, and I really pounce my brush down into the basket weave, and I just keep doing that. Uh, this rice paper is pretty durable, so you have a lot more forgiveness with this than you would if you were uh, using most decoupage papers. But I just really, really worked it down in all those creases until uh, it was down in the creases really well, but also still smooth enough. And it didn't take very long at all, and, and this went on really well. So uh, this is all that I did to the basket, and once that was dry, then I just put some greenery in it. Now I could have added a bow to the top, but I didn't want it to be that look. I just wanted uh, this to be a simple farmhouse style basket that I could display floral in in that area. But I really liked the look uh, that this basket had. And that was my last item. And here are the items that I did. Uh, now, as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that the seat of that desk could use more of the white back on it. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go over that with some more of the white uh, and um, still leave some of that red showing through but I just feel like I got too much in that seat so that's probably not, not going to stay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.